Hey, yo, peace, family. This is Lord Jamal for the Not A Mean Godcast. And if you watch the Godcast, you know my number one sponsor is Miracle Food. That's right, Miracle Food, the perfect cleanse and reboot for a healthy immune system. And these times, you know a healthy immune system is very important. It's also anti-inflammatory. Miracle Food has Moringa, uh, black seed oil, beetroot oil. It also contains CBD. Miracle Food is just what it says. Miracle Food. Brought to you by my brother, the Chakra Doctor. So this is a Black-owned company, y'all. We promote Black-owned companies here on the Godcast. Okay, so go to ChakraDoctor.org and get your Miracle Food today. Tell them Lord Jamal sent you. Peace. <laughs> Turn the neighborhood into the Bay of Pigs Kidnapped the fathers and enslaved the kids Now they poison in the water that they gave the kids He ran from the cops so they sprayed his wind We gon' turn the precinct to the Bay of Pigs Saw the crib like that's the way you live Loaf of bread, baking soda, sitting in the fridge My melanin garners hatred, it's sacred Hussein boat, I'm too swift for the races Drugs change the house structure See my uncle smoke rocks downstairs Now the attic is in the basement Goody was good. Hey, we back up in this bitch on a Friday night on the knowledge, culture, freedom day, all being born to power refinement is how we do. Shout out all the family in the house. All my patrons from Patreon. Everybody that join up right now, make sure you click that like button immediately. If you're new to the channel, Make sure you subscribe, 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 subscribe. Click that notification bell. Click all. So you'll know what time it is. What's good, y'all? Yeah, I know you peeping the gear right now. I know you peeping the gear. That camouflage brand newbie and joint. Oh, with the camouflage hoodie. The peace sign hoodie. Where can you get that at? It's right on the screen. For that God cast gear, that brand new being gear. Hit up hoodgee.com for life. Yeah, get your L's ready. I don't know, some of y'all might even be eating dinner right now. I don't know what y'all doing. It's Friday night, the God Hour. Yeah, we did that on purpose. The God Hour. I got the young God coming on tonight. Y'all see what it is. Shout out to everybody in the in the chat right now. Rico L, Jada Jet, James Davis, 
What's that? Eslange, Eslangle Foster, Psycho Dolo. What up? What up, y'all? Peace. He said, bust a rhyme to that beat, God. See, here's the thing. There's a thing called latency. Now, I just bought something called um, iRig Pro, okay, which is supposed to uh, take out the latency and all that when you DJ and all of that. So I'm going to have to hook that up. Um, I'm going to have to hook up the turntables with the mic through the iRig Pro in order to avoid having latency and be able to rhyme on the beat where it don't sound crazy to y'all. So that's why I don't really um, try to rhyme off beats or nothing like that um, on the show as of yet. Until we can get, we tried it once and it was disastrous. <laughs> um, so especially when people are in different, are in different places and shit. So uh, yeah, we're going to get that right. And when we do, you know, we definitely will have some shit like that. But you know we go acapella on this motherfucker. You know we go acapella on this motherfucker. Uh, and so I definitely might have the young God do his thing. Damn, Anubis, you breathing kind of loud back there. Shout out to Anubis. Well, listen. Um, Y'all know this show. You know, a lot of times I bring on a lot of the legends and shit like that, you know especially the legends in hip hop that sometimes don't get the light that they should get, you know, um, some of the forefathers of this thing, but this hip hop thing is still going, still moving along strong. And despite what the mainstream will make you think, um, there's definitely artists out there that are carrying on the tradition uh, in many different ways, you know, um, sonically, you know, lyrically, culturally, um, you know, as well as with the knowledge. Um, and this is one of the young gods that uh, has been put on my radar. And um, shout out to the God Born King, um, who definitely was like, yo, you got to check the young god. And when I did, I said, oh, OK, yeah, yeah, I'm fucking with the I'm fucking with the God. I'm fucking with him. Um, I told him a while ago I was going to have him on the show. It took a minute, um, but I'm a man of my word. Um, so listen, with no further ado, I want to bring the God on right about now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, gods and earths, welcome to the Not A Mean God cast, Raz Fresco. Peace, 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 peace. Peace, young God. How you be on this glorious day? I'm beautiful, man. I'm beautiful, man. You know, like... uh. You know, life is hectic, but you know, we strive to maintain and, and, and stay elevating. So, you know, build on the determined ideas and shit, you know. So, sure yeah, man, it's another day. It's like a work day. It's a business day, right? It's Friday, it's business day. Absolutely. Well, peace is the absence of all confusion. And I hope, you know, you keep as much confusion out of your cipher as possible. Indeed, but, um, indeed. what's good with you, young God? Um, you know, for those that that might first be uh, getting acquainted with you, well, I see there's people already in here that know who you are. Talking about Baker's Club, but um, oh yeah, that's the brand. You see the brand Baker's Club, you know. Okay, so, so for those for those that don't know who Raz Fresco is, now, first of all, how old are you, young man? Wisdom Equality is 26. Wisdom Equality, yes. For those that don't. Well, some a lot of y'all, if y'all been watching the show, y'all should have a Thanks basic, to you building with the math of the episode. Basic understanding of the math. Uh, I taught Rod Digger the math. And as I taught Rod Digger the math, um, I taught y'all the math as well. Yo, I use that part of some, not the country wisdom. I use that clip on one of my videos. I have really? a joint called Knowledge as Six Ciphers. Say and what? at the end, at the end, you hear Rod Digger like, Well, you know, could I be an 87? I, and then, <laughs> right at the end, nigga, that shit was funny. I was like, nah, I gotta use that. Yo, it's that's like, dope. You know, it's, it almost reminded me of that skit on the Nas album back in the days where it's like, you know, he's talking about, he's like, oh, is that them God body? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to yeah. use it. Like, I was like, okay, I got a new version of that. But yeah, I use that joint. I mean, wow. I mean, I mean, too, I'm doing the knowledge, God. That's All dope. Right. That's dope. So <laughs> you, you wisdom equality. You only like two, three years younger than my uh, son, actually. Mm. Um. 
So, so tell the people where you from, you know what I mean? Um, you know, let's, let's, yeah, let's man, I'm out here in Brampton, what's man. Your story, uh -oh. man. What's your story? Right, what I like right, to let's... ask MCs. What's your story? All right, man. Well, first of all, you know, Raz Fresco, that's a stage name, you know, a short, it's Raz short form for my honorable name, Raz Quiz. You know, my mom got that in the dream when she was pregnant. She, a lady came to her and said, you can have a son. Raz name Quiz? Was, yeah, R-A-S-Q-U-I-Z. That's my honorable name. My okay. mom got that name in a dream when she was pregnant. It's like someone, she said a lady came to her and said, you're going to have a son. His name is going to be R-A-S-Q-U-I-Z. She woke up, she told my pops. You know, my pops is a real wise, like OG type individual with our respect and wisdom a lot. So he heard that and right away identified the Ross, like the Ross, you know, I'm Jamaican, 100% Jamaican. So he's like, yeah, that's a good name, Ross Quiz. That really just means like the chief of questions, you know, or the head of questions because Ross is a title. His man's name was Rastafari, Ross means head chief. Mm. So it's like, yo, my whole life I've been inquisitive, just growing up with the mad questions and shit, you know? And I'm um, just loving hip hop too, you know? Just, just, you know how people have a story? Sometimes it's like, all right, yo, we was chilling and I heard this and that's how I know I fell in love with hip hop. Like, well, my joint is so crazy because it's like, I don't even remember just being alive and not doing hip hop. Like, it's like my whole life, you know? Yeah. It's like, you see like the Born Degree in the, um, <laughs> in the 110? Uh huh. And it's talking about no birth record. Like right. that's like my hip hop career has no birth record because it's like right. I've been doing hip hop, you know. So, right. So I just grew up in the culture, or whatever, you know. And, and um, at the same time, because I'm inquisitive, I always was like a student of the culture, growing up, just taking into different things. It's like a sponge, you know. Um, long story short, I started to produce and stuff like in the grade in grade seven, you know, and um, grade nine, I started to put out little tapes and stuff like that. Wait, you know, you I did a video. Produce at a at gr in grade seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was now, what are you grade. producing with in, in seventh grade? Is this right, a so computer program? Like, um, yeah, Loops? yeah, yeah. I started with Fruity Loops. This older producer dude that um I used to rock with, he showed me um Reason like a year later. I started using Reason and my computer, and that's how I was doing for a while, you know. And then I got an MPD stuff like that. But I, just mind you, this whole time I'm rapping since like the first grade, like you know what I'm saying. So long story short. You know, I'm gonna try to breeze through this because I'm 26 now. I've been like kind of active putting stuff out since I was 15, 16. So I'm gonna just try to breeze through the past 10 years to get to the presentation. Well, well, well real quick, real quick, real quick. I like to ask people because you know, I don't want you to breeze by this. When did you go from being a, a fan to being a participant? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's very cloudy because it's so young. Like you feel my, like you've always been a participant. My, my youngest, my youngest memories, like from grade one, I remember, like, I don't remember having my first rap book. I just remember having mad rap books and always losing them in the crib and having to get another one like right. that. So it's like, that's grade one. Like it's, it's, it's it depending on the person, you know, like who's, in, in. who's around you that you're hearing all this hip hop that, that you, it's so blurry that it's always been there. Is it your parents? Like, like, no, no, my parents are straight Jamaican or whatever, you know? So it's like, right. You're, you're from Boston. Canada. Yes. You're from like yeah. Ontario. Yeah. But this is it's not to say like, there's not a hip hop scene, even before I was no, born. Well, yeah. I'm, listen, I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm just saying you're from Canada. So I know Canada, that's definitely a lot of Jamaican um, yeah. people end up in Canada, Toronto, and all that type of shit. I got um, an older brother, too. So There you go. You know? Yeah, there you so go. he put me up on a lot of joints. And then again, like I said, yeah, yeah, like I, I said, like... I'm knowing, I'm knowing, I'm knowing. Like, my man Stove God, he's ill because he had an older brother that put him up on shit that someone his age shouldn't necessarily know about just the fact that earlier you was gonna say to me oh it's like on the nas album like like how the fuck you know what's on the nas album this is what i'm trying to explain right. to you though i'm trying to explain to you my character so right. it's like again I, I don't know this is just my life right so it's like again very early like it was it was like it went straight into participating like I, there wasn't a big long period of of watching i just got right in it like to the point where it's like again from grade one, I'm already active. I remember just being at school at recess, rapping to people, showing my raps. By the time I'm in grade two or three, back in the days, they had the Lime Wire and the Kazaa and them type of joints. I used to go on there and just type rap instrumental and just look for rap instrumentals randomly and just burn my little CDs, rap on the computer mic, try to sell CDs in my, in my complex and stuff like that. So right. like mad early, you know, because again, this is the thing. I'm a, I'm a youth growing up in like internet and all of this, so, you know, very young. All this internet, all this stuff is at my fingertips, you know. So it's like, if I want to get lost, then I can get lost in it. Right. So at a very young age, just kept getting lost in it, you know. So. 
So you're young. Mm-hmm. Okay. Continue. I don't want to cut you wisdom. Yeah, no, I was just gonna keep it moving because it's like a lot of stuff I'm trying to get through, or whatever. But basically, like around the ninth grade or so, that's when it really that's when I put out like my first like serious kind of project. It was called Welcome to the Baker's Club, you know? And right. um I put a video out and the video went on World Star. They put it like youth talent of the week, 15 year old. Who, who are your influences at this time? Like who you think in your mind my, you're kind of trying to rhyme like? Um Okay, so off the beast, Chuck English was one of the main reasons I started Ooh, watching beats. I love you know? the fucking cool kids. Yo, so remember, I'm young. They came with the swag like during that era, like you know. So it's like even with the Jays, the, the know, with stuff, the black mags. Yo, that, man, that's, that record changed my life. That record that changed was my life. My shit, and I'm telling you, a lot of people my age don't even know who the fucking cool kids are. Trust but, me, for me. Chucky English and his boy, uh, what's it, Mikey, whatever? Sir Michael Rocks, Mikey Rocks, or Michael Rocks, Chuck Rocks. English. Bro, them dudes, I, like, what happened to them? Because I feel like... They're still putting, they about to put out a um, uh, three-part um, project, Chuck part, my part, and a dual part. It's called Before Shit Got Weird and Shit. I actually was, I've been working with Chuck, like, you know, so... Really? He, yeah, yeah, he. I've been working with Chuck for like a, a minute. Like you know, but we did a record. That motherfucker. Matter of fact, you gonna you gonna help me get them on the dog cast. Matter of fact, absolutely, absolutely. I be building with this dude I every. With kid. I fuck with the cool kids. Tell them that every single time. This is the thing. This is the, because I grew up with this appreciation. Like even before every single time that we speak so far, even before I start, we start building whatever. I always try to give you some flowers. Like yo, God, you know what? I salute. Like appreciate it because of my love for the culture is. It's like, you know, like, again, today's mathematics is not as culture, you know? And culture is a way of life. So it's like growing up, I, I just started to realize this is a whole way of life, like, you know? And it's, like, sacred to me, you know? So, again, like, people like Chuck, you know, I just I just pay respect. Like, I just did the record with Pete Rock, you know? And it's, like, again, every time I'm working with these type of people who are able to influence me in certain positive ways creatively, I always just got to give it up, you know? Because that's how we keep the culture, you know, alive, you know? So... You know, oh, you, you asked me, you you asked me about the the production and all that, you know. So for, I started well, making influences. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Like, like but I didn't even get to rap though. I just said production. Okay. So as far as on the rap, like again, um, the early like, again, I was just uh, that type of guy. Like, I was con- like, I remember coming home from grade seven, and like, I remember went there. I have clear memory. I was playing some like some some early May shit for some reason, and like, people was like, "Yo, what is that?" And I was like, "Oh, this is just some stuff I'm taking in," like you know, so. From a young age, I was going back. Like, I was already interested in that. And you know what it was, too? Honestly, it's the fact that it's like, when I listen to rap, I like listening to jewels, you know? I like listening to something where it's like I hear it, and I'm like, oh, that's some real shit, you know? Like, that's real shit. Because, like, as a young person, I'm not going to lie. I tell people this all the time. Before, like, you know, you have a job, you have this, you have that, and dreams of what you want to be. I remember very early, I just told myself, like, bro, I just want to be, like, like an example of a real nigga, you know? Like, I just want to be an example of realness. So things that I felt was like real and truth, and like, okay, that's some like, I can live by that. Like, I I gravitated towards those things, you know? So the MCs who have that usually have some type of dot self. So it just happened so, like Wu-Tang and certain things like that, like the Nas's, things like that. I remember the first time I on um, my manager from my very, very young age, you know? Put me up on my deep shit like that. So I was always just hungry for that underground, like, you know, type of stuff, you know. But at the same time, too, you mix that with stuff like the cool kids and like currency. Currency's a huge inspiration. I was mm. currency before cash money. You, just, you look at currency's grind, the independent, even him. Like he is an artist that pays respects to the culture, has respect for the culture, still does his thing does it is able to take older elements bring it into a newer fashion so i'm looking at people like the cool kids currencies they're taking vintage stuff flipping it making it new at the same right. time i have the older stuff that i'm taking in so this is basically molding me Ooh, to be kind of like, like a mentor maybe eight back yo <laughs> yo so that was my shit. i'm telling you man so so yeah so all of this is basically where i was at you know you know what i mean and again, like even my uncle, my uncle is Earl Zero. He's in like the reggae hall of fame type of stuff. He's a real big roots 
artist, you know? So it's like, it's almost in my blood and in my genetics, because my genetics come from maroon genetics, you know, the Jamaican maroons and shit. Those are the niggas that get to just, you know, slapping it up, slapping up the British, and then they had to, you know what I mean? They wasn't having it. Mm-hmm. So I kind of have that rebel spirit already. I already recognized myself from that. So again, anything that resonates with that frequency, I would resonate with that, you know, which is usually the non self type, anti establishment type, type of joints, you know. Well, that's kind of you was leading me to my next question. So, you know, young God like you, how did you get introduced to the knowledge yourself? Um, yeah, how did you get introduced to the knowledge yourself, and and what was it about it that resonated with? All right, this one's this is easy. It's like it's a beautiful thing too, you know, because it's like everything goes from knowledge to born back again, you know. So as my knowledge is increasing, then I'm continually on my process of growth. Really, when it got, I was the one that sparked certain conversations in my group. Because again, I was always that type of people. I'm not like I'm trying to be that, but people naturally like you know you have a magnetic if you have a certain type of you know mind or whatever. So I was always the one that sparked certain conversations. So at a very young age, again, remember my name is Raz Quiz. So Quiz is a question, right? So even like when I was in grade four, like young and stuff, I used to be like, yo, why do we gotta go to church, bro? Like, like, like I know, like I see all the white people there, whatever, and it's like very young. It, yeah, another thing too, before I continue into this is my pops. My pops is a real, like he did, you know what I mean? What's the meaning of civilization? Teach everything, science, like all this knowledge, we understand, culture, refinement, all that. My pops gave me a lot of that as I was growing too, because he just gave me a lot of wisdom, mm. you know, and real shit. So it's like the fact that that's, He's at a at a young age before he had gotten deported and, and certain things had happened, or whatever. And even after the fact, going visiting him and, and building, I that's these things are helping my foundation as far as the things that I'm gonna consider a, a, a like with my own self because he's giving me certain knowledge of self, right? So long story short, I had this kind of a, a good foundation before I even knew about the knowledge, just based off of that, right? So again. I was the one to start certain questions in my group. So sometimes we'd walk in a building, I'd be like, yo, how come, how come this? How come that? And really, when I got into high school, it just got to a certain point where it's like I know they were not answering the questions. Cause I Jamaicans, you know, you say, yo, let's reason. You're gonna have a reason. You know, you get your Jamaicans, be like, yo, let's reason. Mm-hmm. So even when you as, as you grow, you learn that there's something called deductive reasoning, mm. which is basically like algebra in your mind for situations. Because it's like if X is this and Y is this, then I can solve for Z. Like, you know, if my money's missing and you was the last person in my room, you, you probably did it. You know what I mean? So that's deductive reasoning. Mm-hmm. So I'm, again, the Jamaican gene, all this, my reasoning abilities is there because reason is the power of the mind to think. So I'm just going through life thinking. And I was like, I'm here like, okay, why do we got to go to church? I, if black people were the first people, how could this, like, you, something they ain't making sense. And then I'm in school and I'm realizing, okay, I'm in a Catholic high school. I'm in Canada. That means, first of all, I'm like, okay, how many got the Catholic high school? They don't got the this high school. They got that high school. They got. So I'm like, okay, this is their perspective of things. Every Do single you, subject. That, where you live, is that a, like a French part of Canada? Do you speak French as well? Like you see, I like, I I could have went to speak French. French is a second language type of thing. So it's like in your high school, I think out there y'all can y'all can take Spanish if you want. It's an elective. Exactly. So French is an elective. Yo, it's right. funny. Hold on. Before we even go into anything else, let me tell you this funny story about that. Because uh-huh. yo, I took French first year in high school, right? Second year, I was just telling the story the other day. So the second year, the first day of class, I must have came late whatever. You know, you bullshit in the hallway, you know, whatever. It's the first day. You try to find a room, whatever. We're missing the mm-hmm. room. So I go to the class now. I must have been late. So I'm, again, everybody's at the desk. They're sitting down. I walk in. Tell me why this fat French lady, whatever. She tried to tell me. She's like, yo, I'm late. She's like, wait. Give me 20 push-ups now for being late. Yo, you see your reaction? Watch. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, this is French. This is not gym. You can't make me go. Nah, I was this ain't gym, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we ain't likes. So anyways, boom. So I'm like, yo, this is not gym. You cannot make me go down on the floor. She's like, you got to go down on the floor. I'm like, I'm not doing it. She's like, go to the office. So I'm like, all right. So I went to the office. I'm like, oh, what is this? I'm like, yo, this lady is wild. I'm not, like, what do you guys expect? First, I don't even want to be in their class. Put me in the other dude's class. His class is full. I was like, I ain't doing French. And that was my exit out of the whole French <laughs> education right there. Because one lady tried to make me 20 push ups. I could have been speaking French and shit right now. Yeah. He's trying to play around. Try to put me in fucking boot camp and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. Nigga. But yo, so yo. Thinking ass. <laughs> but yo, before I got into that, what was I about that? Because I cut myself off with that. 
What was he just? Uh, so we're talking about you know you were getting the knowledge yourself. Ah, 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 um, beautiful. Are you going to add on before I continue? Um, no, go ahead, continue. All right, cool. So long story short, I'm just basically trying to show you how my mind was cultivated up until the point of like reaching high school and like the questions and the certain upbringing and the influences of hip hop, whatever. So all of this is like my frame of reference, right? And so with that being said, cut the shit. Word. All right, yo. So with that being said, now, long story short, when you get the knowledge and you're young, there's that fire. You see what I'm saying? Your life is a burning within you. It's a fire. All so, of that newborn energy. Exactly. So it's like, mm-hmm. again, at a certain point, just based off my deductive reasoning skills, I'm realizing I'm in this Catholic high school. Every single motherfucking page of this shit in the first book, it starts with some Greeks, it starts with some this, it starts with that. I know black people are the first people on the planet, like it says in the like in the, what we teach or whatever, black people are the fathers and mothers of all civilization. So I know this, but it's something's not adding up. So I'm like, you know what? These people are not going to teach me this. Mm-hmm. I need, and it's like, I'm there and I'm like, okay, so what was the black perspectives on science? What was the black perspectives on language? What was the black perspectives on this? Because it's only one perspective. So, like, my what started to happen in my mind, I was like, let me try to find the oldest shit I can with some black people on this. And let me try to find the oldest shit on this and start finding older sciences. And I remember I started to study shit like Taoism, which is a very mathematical science in the East, right? So mm-hmm. when I'm studying, it's taking in that Taoism again, the Yang, all this, I'm, I'm just mathematical sciences. And I've been taking in little things up until this point. Now I'm starting to go full force. So now I'm starting to learn about ancient Egypt. And I have certain other brothers around me. Like when I was young, I had this um, the member in my bank stuff, this older brother. He was kind of dealing with knowledge and stuff like that too and reading and all of this. And he'd be the person kind of around us dropping Jews as we're chilling, smoking on the porch. He's kind of older than us. He's kind of like, you know, you can call him like almost like my lightener almost, you know, because before I had real knowledge and stuff, I remember a point when I was mad young. He's like, yo, Raz, you'll be a powerful brother with knowledge and stuff. And me and my young arrogance, I'm like, nigga, I know myself. What do you mean? Like, you know? But anyways, uh, he he I remember he gave me a list of scholars, Naeem Akbar, yo, Dr. Ben, all of this. So it's like I had like the little boom. And then remember, during these times, I think hidden colors came out too. The mm. first joint. And then the second joint. So it's like all that boom. And then all my studies, whatever, right? So I'm studying ancient Egypt. And then I and because I'm in the hip hop scene and I'm starting to drop little things in my raps about this, born king. Probably heard about my shit, whatever, reached out. So I started building with him. I'm starting to learn about the gods. I'm like, oh, this is the gods. So I I was aware of the gods. But even at that point, the type of person I am, I wasn't just going to, like, you know, be like, okay, submit or anything like that, whatever, because I wanted to figure out. It's like I wanted to do knowledge to that even more now. So it's like I'm even I'm starting to learn things about gods because I'm building back and forth. And long story short, remember, I was telling you I was studying different ancient systems and the Taoists and whatever. And after I just kept studying my knowledge and my knowledge and reading books and just really going hard because I actually cared to know. And after a certain point, I started to see the correlations between all the ancient systems and the mm. supreme mathematics. So Tahuti in ancient Egypt, the god of wisdom, he's also the mathematical scribe. But then you have the old, one of the oldest mathematical artifacts, the Ashango bone. And then remember, Tahuti or Thoth or whatever was represented by the baboon. One of the oldest mathematical artifacts is the baboon fibula. The mm. shango bone or the, the lumbombo bones, two of them. And it's a baboon's fibula and the women were using it to, so it's like mathematics, baboon, Egypt, this, wisdom, this. And then in, in the Taoism system, you have the yang and the yin, the moon, the earth, certain things. So I'm starting to see all these correlations to the point where I drew my understanding to the, where I was like, yo, this supreme mathematics, the truth is the truth, and this is a modern version of the same shit all of our black asses have been saying. So I, I you see what I'm saying? So when I came to that realization, when I came to that realization, and again, reasoning and deductive reasoning within myself allowed me to come to realizations, realizations after once. So that was a realization. But even before that point, too, when I first was like, you know, early on in the journey, I told myself, like, as a young black man. To understand my place in this earth and how things are the way they are, I technically have to understand thousands of years of history, be able to have a basic timeline of certain things and put it all together. And I'm like, yo, that's a hard ass task. But then I really came to the realization like, yo, I'm not the first person that's been doing this. There's people who have had the same questions as me. This is very early in my journey, which allowed me to start to find the black authors that were talking about history being 
this, that, and the third or whatever. So basically with that realization, I realized that this is something even greater than me. This is a bigger universal struggle. I'm, it's like you're plugging out the matrix. It's like, you know, it's just like, you now you're, you're with the meat, like the, the niggas outside the matrix now, you know, and you realize like, oh shit, there was a whole war going on the whole time. Hmm. She was saying, it's like, oh shit, we was at war the whole time and shit, whatever. So when that happened, I started to realize like, I basically saw the truth within the mathematics, saw there was a modern version. I was like, okay, I could understand that doing the knowledge to this, I will, it will help me have a structured way of organizing all this information that's out there because that's all it is. And with you can you can read this book, read this book, read that book, and just read, and you can get like we say, you get caught up in the wisdom. But well, mathematics is that orderly, and God is good orderly direction. So building with the gods, I got good orderly direction as to process all of this information. Before even processing the information, I got a system to use to process the information. Hold on, point yourself. <laughs> hey, I'm, yeah. So I got a system. That's my old earth is up. It's up. Awesome. But yeah. So I got a system. Before even processing all the information, I got a system to process the information, which is the supreme mathematics. So before, it's like you hear brothers talking all this knowledge and the gods be like, okay, before you do this, what is knowledge? What does it mean to know? And then when you start to realize this, it's like, yo, one of the things I tell people sometimes is like, yo, me, people, now that I'm at my certain level of understanding, which is the best part, I can see things clear for what they are and not for what it appears to be. Sometimes people come to me and be like, yo, what book should I read? What this? Sometimes I'd be like, the dictionary, my nigga. And you'd be like, niggas think I'm joking. Trying to lie. I'd be like, yo, I'm dead serious. Because a lot of the times, the, work, the shit you think you know, you don't even know. And, mm. and I tell people, it's like, you think to yourself in thoughts and you direct your consciousness with words in your mind. So if you don't understand the definition of the words to a certain degree, you don't have the power to direct your thoughts and consciousness. Mm. It's like if a man has only knows 10 words and he's trying to plan his day, that I go store, I eat, I sleep. You can't even articulate yourself on a certain level to control yourself. Thanks. So, so again, that's like, you know what I mean? That's that's a, uh, yeah, man. That's that's what it is right there. You know. So, long story short, I kept tapped back in with the source, and then at the same time, too, this is the most beautiful part. I'm a hip hop artist this whole time as a young black man trying to understand myself. So, as I've been doing the knowledge to hip hop and going deeper, and then I do the knowledge to the start with five percent. Guess what? It starts to link back up. The gods and the hip hop. This is what learn. you're taking me to my next question. You're next, taking me to my next question. Okay, First I'm listening. All, yeah. If y'all are just joining me, um, we're sitting here with the young god Raz Fresco and Bitch. um, you know, first of all, all y'all motherfuckers in the comments that is like uh focused on the fact that the god speaks very swiftly, you know. I understand what the fuck. I can't see the comments. I must I, I might slow it down. I can't even see the comments. Uh, there should be something where you can see the comments. Um, but if you can't, it doesn't matter. You know, they're all, to be honest, I'm really building with you. Why am yeah, I reading right. the comments? Anyway? I know, I know. I'm just saying, I'm reading, and some of them, are, oh, he talked mad fast. Hey, listen, shut the fuck up. Y'all listening slow. That's what it is. Yo, learn from Mark. Part of some, you know, born everlasting, right? I believe so. Yes. Oh, okay, he's one of them older gods. Like that's where Born King got his lessons from. And then uh -huh. you know how the older Medina gods when they start building and. This is nothing. Like if people say yeah. I'm talking fast, some of the Medina guys, yo, I be here listening to the guy, I be like, yo, work with these. I be trying to, and they and they use a supreme math. But anyways, I digress. Right, I digress. I slow it down. I slow it down. No, you you, you good. So listen, hey, what's up, Miss Ravioli? I see you. Um, so I wanted to ask you, um, how did getting knowledge yourself enhance? Hip hop for you. Once you went back and you had those moments where you said, "Ah, that's what the fuck they was talking about." Yeah, like very early, y'all learned the math. You, know math what I mean? the like, you hear the Wu Tang oh, skits? Oh, you know, that's that's cool 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 right? Oh. Yo, the, even the joint with Raekwon's like, "Hey, yo, peace to cast that rock, Mac knowledge, knowledge, just street straws." I'm like, "Look at about Mac Eleven? That shit's hard." I'm like. <laughs> You feel me? God said, what what the God said? Um did they say divine I see king or what the fuck they said in one of us? You know what I mean? They said some shit see, like see say for punk straw the little thoughts, she said for punk straw the whole that nigga risen and shit. You know what I mean? Mad shit. even and start listening to MF Doom. And MF Doom's like able to drop today's math in the 48 keys of life. And after a while, 
when someone's really like, I'm like, like you know, at the end of the day, only God can judge, right? So I'm a judge of shit. And it's like, you know, when you, you've been listening to hip hop, the best rappers are the gods or influenced by the gods. Like, if you really are aware, you know this. But if you're not, it is what it is. Like, you know, Fact. we can go down the list. Nah, and do Wu Tang. Even, like, you know, come on. Yeah, because hip hop definitely for me. But yo, I didn't even answer your question. My bad. Part of self, because you have to see how did it uh, change my thing. And to be honest, yeah, well, as well, soon as you ask the question, feeling, that feeling of, of, oh shit, there's a next layer to this shit that, like, for the average person, it was already dope. But once you get knowledge, and then you hearing certain lines, and and it, and it just it, it it it's a next dimension for you. Like that's what I'm talking about. Like how did that feel? And and do you know what I'm talking about? You know, no, what I mean? absolutely, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Like the break one line, certain lines. Like you know, it's like it's like you. It's like you unlock level of the game. It's like, oh, jump. it's a whole nother level of the game now. It's You've like been playing unlock. that game. Like, exactly. You've been playing the game, but you didn't know, oh, shit, there's a next level to this bitch. And even that, too, it's like there's even levels within that. Everything goes within cypher. So that's like the first cypher when you start to realize, like, things on the surface level. But then you start to do that and realize this within yourself. Like, oh, there's a whole nother unlocked level to me. Mm. And that's really what is, like, the hip hop. <laughs> shit is cool but that's the best feeling because that's why we always say in this nation that understanding is the best part because understanding is a clear mental picture in your mind and that no one can ever take that from you so being able to be at peace see things within your mind like that's truly the best part because at the end of the day when you're doing this right and, and you gain the knowledge yourself this shit makes you more of a man you know and god is man you know so it's like that's what the most important part is you know being able to become self-sufficient and you know like be able to get more out of life you know because the more you're aware the more you're able to experience so it enhances your experience so it's like enhancing your awareness enhances your whole experience of life you know so because you get to take in more so yeah man shit not itself is like it's like it's like a it's like the it's like that that movie limitless and shit you know you think because like oh shit i'm the god now oh shit you know what's your god oh, shit <laughs> you know what i mean All right and it's a great feeling um, yeah. So listen, let's 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 bring it up hip hop speed where you're at now. Um, you got a record that's banging with Pete Rock. Let's talk about that. Pete Rock's, you know, that's somebody that you know we we came up pretty much at the same time, like we was pretty much right before them, mm -hmm. you know. Uh you know, I remember when uh Pete and uh Puba and, and X had this little demo and shit that they did. I was mad. They went over to Pete Rock crib one day and I wasn't around. <laughs> and, oh man, and they made this like, yo, doing? Oh, oh, they made some shit too, and I was tight, like damn. What was you doing? Man, I don't know what the fuck I was. I you know what I mean? I was I was, I was, I was moving <laughs> probably, but anyway. <laughs> I was doing something. I was moving around and whatever. I would, you know, it was say just, less, say it less. It just might have been together that day, and they went to Mount Vernon, whatever the case may be. Why? So, um, but Pete's not even out yet, really. But he's kind of known for being a DJ and shit like that. And uh, yeah, he made some shit, and and yo, he's always just been ill with the fucking beats. Um, shout out to my brother Pete Rock. He's been on his on uh this show before. So, you know, he's definitely a Godcast alumni. So tell me about how that came together, how somebody, you know, from your era is able to hook up with a legend type of dude like that. And, and, and you know what I mean? Simple. Like, I think the first part of the link up was all goes back to like 2015. Because, again, I've been for people who might be new to me or whatever. I've been putting out music since like 2010. In 2015, I put out like a, a solo independent album. I, I had a distribution deal at the time with Duck Down. Because, again, I used to go to New York a lot. Because, like, when I was 16 or 17, I would just, like, take CDs. I had family in the Bronx or Harlem, like, you know, in, in certain places. So I would just go out there, stay with niggas I knew in, in uh, 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 Brooklyn. You know, I was, I was just a young traveling ass, you know, trying to make moves ass niggas and shit. So I, mm -hmm. I went out there. And while I'm over there, I'm uh, promoting music, building with the gods, whatever, this, that, and the third. So um, during this time... I'm putting out a lot of music. During that time, I put out the Paulo Fresco bar. That joint has like Raekwon on it, you know. Um, that's how that's where I did the joint with Chuck, you know, and and other people, whatever. So I'm I'm doing a lot of networking and I'm becoming known 
even when I first came out, because the first record I did, Laying Low, I sampled Easy E, but put it on some newer type drums. So I was always kind of had that distinction kind of as like the, the dude kind of doing the old school vintage type stuff already. That's how I was building my brand kind of like, you know, right. without even knowing it because that was just me. So when I did this stuff around 2015, I think actually it was like right around before then, might have been 2014, CBC, Canada Broadcast Company, they reached out to me and this artist named Rich Kid to do Troy over again as like some kind of like, uh, you know, like anniversary type of thing yeah, in mean, Electric Lady Studios. Whoa. Okay. Jimmy Hendrix Studios with Pete mm -hmm. Rock. Mm -hmm. So we went out to drove out to New York. We did it and it was all filmed or whatever. And there's like this little special. And then from there, obviously networking. And then there's a, even on my IG page, if you scroll down, there's a video sometime after that when Pete Rock did a show out here. And then I, I came through and then we're backstage. I'm showing him some of the music. Actually, yeah, I'm showing him some of the music off the Apollo Freshwater album before it drops, playing him the record. So it's like, he was already interested in tune with my stuff because I was like, I was that type of dude. If I'm around certain people, I'm a, I might drop a verse on you. I might do something like, yo, peace. I'm rather introduce myself and share the network and stuff. So I started networking and building a relationship like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So that was 20, that was like almost six, five, or over years ago, whatever, right? Almost seven years ago. So I've been keeping up with them and building up myself, getting caught up in the world, six hundred. You know what I mean? Clean myself up and get even more focused on the music stuff for the past two years or so, like, you know, 2020, really, like, you know? And after doing that, building steam, momentum for how myself, I, I was like, yo, don't I know Pete Rock? Like, let me hit this guy by asking for a beat, bro. Like, and, and then I was doing that, like, yo, we gotta work, we gotta, boom, boom. He's like, yo, for sure, I'm sending him new stuff, too. And he's like, yo, this, boom, boom. So, long story short, um, this is funny. From that CBC session, from back from those times, I remember he gave me beats. I had different management at the time, whatever. I don't know. Nothing happened with those beats. So I remember he was taking a minute to send him some new beats. So I'm like, yo, what happened to them CBC beats? Can I, can I splash on one of those? He's like, yeah, if you can find them, one of them was hard. I was like, oh, snap. So I started, I hit up Rich Kid. I'm like, yo, where's the folder, fam? Like, you know what? He sent me the folder. I couldn't find it for I'm going through my hard drives and stuff. I'm like, yo, where's the folder? So I found the joint. I was like, ooh, I remember this joint. So I was like, nah, I got to do something crazy with this. And it's funny now that I did that and I paid for a video, you know, invest in a dope visual to make it look real nice. Got my biggest club homies on it, too, because I'm like, yo, we got the Pete Rock joint. This is a look. I want everybody on this right here, you know, put everybody on it and then put it out. And um, even, even since then, I've just been building with Pete, sending him new stuff. And I've been talking to him. I was texting him earlier, supposed to start chopping it up, because we working on a little, I want to, you know what I mean, it's too much, we, we working on a little something, something, you know? So again, it's just the persistence, like an initial networking, persistence and the consistency as far as, you know, trying to keep that that bridge and that line of communication open to take advantage of an opportunity when I can capitalize on that, that relationship. You, you're breaking up. Technical. Peace, yeah, I cut yeah. off for a second. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah. All right. You, um, you acknowledge everything I was saying? Pretty much, yeah. Just at the okay. end, you got cut off a little bit. Um, yeah. Real quick, to the people in the chat, if I put you on, on timeout, this means you was talking shit. You talk shit again, you're getting blocked off the motherfucking channel. I don't play these fucking games up in here. The we fuck will run you from the root of civilization exactly. over the hot Arabian yeah. desert yeah. and all of that should be. And make you, you walk I mean? every step of the way, motherfucker. 2,200 so, miles, B. Um, That's the victory right there. I don't right there. fuck what your name is. If you got a righteous name or whatever the fuck. I don't know who you, I don't know you, okay? Hey, didn't you, didn't you run the joint? You got to love a lot and leave me the hell alone. Ain't that your joint? Love me or leave me alone. Yeah, man, you know, that's the yeah. law. Come on, you know, live a law's will and leave a law's world. That's the law. Come on, man. We don't play these fucking games in here. So uh, you either act right in my chat or get the fuck out of here. It's that simple. Um. So listen, God, could, do you think you might be able to bless my people with a quick acapella? I right, for sure. Uh, I could do that. I give them some some of uh, some new stuff off this issue eight. I'm working on. Okay. This is a. Uh, oh, check this out. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's hard not to dream while awake. It's bittersweet through pictures. I see my baby's face. Old soul, Ray Kwan, call me young 88. 
Call my brother son, cause he radiate. I your waves like pastry cake. Stay civilized. No, I try like Macy Gray, but you can catch two if you foul like the NBA. Deep in Brooklyn, getting 120. That's the pearly gates. Seen a Muslim live to 100, eating once a day. Why you niggas got your mouth open? You ain't earn a plate. Seen the devil use hip hop to boost the murder rate. Let the negative energy fade. That's the early grave. I was 10 years old. Watching Kanye heard him say, fast forward. Mom see me skiing up the white. Easily let it straight. Hard to lead him to the right. While my mm. rhymes vibrating at the frequency of life mm. I saw this all before it happened with my inner sight Stood up in the church and said Jesus isn't white The game's, script, the game's rigged, the show's scripted, don't believe the hype mm. Small thing becomes big, I can't take it light My first whip, ain't had no stash, I kept the work up in the nights Meet me by the corner store, act like you buying your Sprite Don't even let us see the drugs until the cash in sight of heaven real Why you afraid to die? It's cause it's here while you alive And you can make your hell, life in a cell like the ladder match, bitches climbing for my belt. Every time you lie to me, you lie to yourself. Mm. The heart was on the stone. The heart was on the stone. The heart was on the spoon. The fiend was trying to make it melt. Mm. Sometimes I don't write. I come from another realm. It's the dark skin for real. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell you like the founder of the on the like a track like repel. Master of my dome. Hustle like you never had a home. Sometimes you got to do bad alone. So when you're doing good, you see who at the door. Wisdom from the catacombs, catac calicos, catabones. Niggas so fish and macaroon like gold. Eat mac and coal. Hey, yo, the marvelous, magical. You know what I'm saying? It's a little splash. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little, it's a little. Listen, brother, um... Man, I gotta say, I'm I'm very impressed. Uh, just all right, let me show you something real quick, though. Yo, mm -hmm. peace, peace. You want to show the glass? Hold up, pass them, bring some of the hoodies. Let me show you that because you remember we was on before. Before yes. we get out, I want to be able to show you some of the joints. Okay, you know? sure. so this is some of the because again, even with what I'm rocking right now, I designed it. So I'll tell you, you're gonna. Oh, that's up. I was gonna say that hoodie is dope. So this is a concept I thought of, and like it came to me in a moment of realization. You can see, look, you got far building with Elijah, and then you see the father. And it connect to the babies. Mm. This is the this is the story of the Islam in North America, North America, the wilderness of North America, right here. Mm. And so this is like a design that I even got this. Look, I got my sewing machine in the corner. I got the tag on here, cut and sewn this joint. Let me show you some joints. This is because I got the Magneto is right. This is the thing too. You asked me what I was doing before I go into this. I have an album series it's called Magneto is right. It's nine issues from knowledge to born. The last two issues coming out, the Pete Rock joint is a single off issue eight, right? So check it. You know, back in the days, X Men, X Men low key is based off civil rights. You had Professor X, who's more like Martin Luther King Jr., mm -hmm. he, and then black people is the mutant. So you have Martin Luther King talk about integration with the humans, Professor X talk about integration with the um, humans with the mutants, and you have Malcolm X, who's like Magneto, who is talking about separating, doing our own thing. Is an there's a parallel. Mm -hmm. So my whole my because you got to be swift and interchangeable with it. So that with this series to keep those type of principles to keep that energy alive came with the Magneto is right, but then I it's because you know, I got like the Malcolm face inside the Magneto helmet and different types mm -hmm. of art or whatever and all of that and I've been doing it as a nine part album series just like mm -hmm. how the out comics used to do issues like issue one issue two issue three right, some right, limited right. shit whatever right yeah, so yeah. again and each issue got its own like collect like special merch and all of this. This is from one of my mans uh, from Biggest Club, Brisk in the House. This is um an idea album cover art that I con that conceptualized for his album. It's called The Wonderful Story of a Lot, as you can see the story, right? But let me show you some of the Magneto joints. The, the one we was talking about before the chat, this is the issue, this is the issue five joint. Cut and sew, whatever, boom, the issue five. But look at the design though. You, mm. got, you got the Magneto helmet on the five pole sport joint and all of that, but look. He's basically that's the 85 on the ground right there, and he's pulling out the uh, uh pulling the white Jesus piece off his neck, like emphatically now. Cypher, uh -huh. you see that? Uh, yes, hey, yo, give me that. Like, yo, give me that. Oh, and it says emphatically now. Cypher, that's great. Crazy, right? All right, now watch for issue seven. I have a hoodie where is um, I contacted this um artist in Spain, this little graffiti dude, whatever you know, the internet's crazy, you can just connect with everybody. So he over there, and um, and he's in London, UK, he's a Spanish uh from Spain. He's a graffiti artist. I gave him this concept to go put on the wall over there. I told him to take a photo of it. And that was the cover for issue seven. It's actually so because each cover has different style mediums of art. So that one was like a comic type style. The issue seven hoodie, these didn't even come out yet, though. This is one of them. 
this is the this is the cover for it. As mm. you can see, that's a wall in London with that painted on there. It's not like some type of Photoshop joint. Right. You know, and then boom. So this again, look at the cut and sew work on this joint. Nice. With the stitching, the embroidery work. And you got all this planned out ahead of time. You got all these covers already planned out. Now let's agree. Shit. You know, race is history in advance, you know? Hell yeah. I've been definitely planning this, you know? So boom. And then I got another series too. Hold up. This is the next series because I got this uh marvelous aspect. Hold up. Let me get the earth plan this over here. So you see it got the marvelous with the sun, right? But watch mm -hmm. this. I got a collection where I'm paying respect to certain people, right? And that's certain people who are marvelous. So if you look at this, look at this. Mm. But this is not a photograph. I got an artist to do a digital recreation of a photo on some photorealism shit. Mm. So this, and then you see I got the sun for the marvelous Rock Kim, right? But then boom. Then I got the marvelous earth. Bow. Digital recreation, you know. I got some mm. new joints. I'm working. I'm working on a whole new collection right now. It's about to drop. So that one had the marvelous earth. You seen the marvelous sun, but now let's get a little more militant with it. Now I got the marvelous AK on this joint mm. for brothers like you know, for the militant brothers, you know. Mm. And look at this. This is a this is charcoal pencil from some shorty in Poland that I commissioned mm. to do this. So that's a car charcoal pencil, photo realistic drawing of the great ancestor Khalid Muhammad, you know. And then yeah. this next one's crazy. I was wearing this actually. That's I just wanted to show. Right I, had to, I, I, had to, I had to show. I had to show off this. I'm like, I'm coming on the Godcast. I had to put this one on. This That's is what I was wearing before. So now, if you see, this is like the healthy joint. This is the marvelous earth. This um, the marvelous with the with the bananas on the joint. Mm -hmm. so we know who we got on the back of this. Sabi, there we go. <laughs> the charcoal pencil yeah. Crazy, Yo, crazy. You know. Dope. All different types of stuff. That's dope. Hey, let, me, let me see the back of this joint right here, too. Even this joint. Hold up. Even this joint. You what see? You, you know the power degree, God. Like the earth. Oh, 900. You know the power degree, God. 940,000 square miles. With the, with the, with the mark. Come on, man. You know? With the yes. Marvelous. 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 That's dope. the ad lib. That's the whole thing. All right, all right what's up? Put yourself. Yeah, man. So as Yo. you can see, you know, that's the, and that's all of that too. That's coming from the mind, you know, from knowledge to born, like as far as on the concepts and all of that, you know? So again, I'm just trying to show and prove that knowledge degree, man. Who is the original man? Asian black man, the maker, owner. That's my whole shit, you know? And I wish we was able to build, not to say wish, every day we can build every day. But yesterday tried to crazy build because it was so relevant to what I got going on in life. You see how his knowledge understand it? And, and then with the alchemist, we got the master degree. My whole thing is just trying to master that which I'm involved in, not go half ass, you know, because there's a difference between knowledge and understanding. So when I wanted to start creating a merch, I was like, you know, it's like you can know how it rains, but you to understand the system is different, you know. So I'm just trying to master certain things that I'm dealing with, you know, as far as learning how to come with different designs and being hands on with shit, you know. So because that's important because that's the way that we become maker and owner of shit, you know. We have to go in and do the knowledge to how to produce these things. But how to make them like I'm sitting there with the seamstress lady, like, you know, how do you do that? Boom, went and got a sewing machine so I can learn so I can take more of the power within my hands, you know. And as I've been starting to get more serious with this in the past like two years, because I've been doing music for a minute, but this is how I'm finally, you know, really, you know, you have to be a creator in order to be a maker and an owner. Indeed. Because what you create, what you make, you own, you know. <clears throat> um, well, listen, man, I'm very impressed with uh, everything you're doing, bro, and and and, and your trajectory. And, and um, I can't get a drop for the Magneto was right. Issue nine, a little drop oh, from the God. I can't get a drop from the God. Absolutely. I'm ready okay, to say, say less. I'm, I mean, your text messages after this. Yeah, I'm ready to say about this motherfucker. I'm impressed. All right, let's go. I'm going to send you a hoodie, too. Which one you want? Oh man, um I'll text you a bunch of options. Don't worry, I'll text yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, the yeah, hats yeah, coming, yeah. two different hats and all. I'm gonna send you a crazy pack because you know. So listen, up. uh you what uh at Raz Fresco on IG, all one word. Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, yeah. At Raz Fresco, R A Z F R E S C O. The brand is at Baker's Club, B K R S C L B dot com. 
All my music got dropped on biggerstuff.com first before it goes streaming or anywhere or whatever. So you know, if you wanna if you wanna rock with it, you know, you come and come to the website and sock it to my pocket, you know, yeah. and, but before I drop it, you know. So word up. There you go. There you go. So yeah, go follow that man on IG. Uh, go, you know, support whatever he's doing out there right now. Um, and thank you for the light, God. Yo, right absolutely, on. God, absolutely. Um. I Just appreciate that, it, you know. Appreciate keep it. That energy, keep that same energy that you got, God. You know what I mean? Don't let them, don't let them corrupt you out here with all, you know, with trinkets or whatever the fuck bullshit. You know what time it is. You got the knowledge yourself, God. So um show. Sure. Your, your armor is correct. You good, God. Um, right. but thank you for coming through. And we definitely thank you for having you. me. We'll definitely have you back. Let me know when you got something new dropping, and uh, you know. We definitely have you come back up because we definitely support uh the future and that's you guy i appreciate that man i'm what i'm gonna do is uh after this i'm gonna text you a couple of items some screenshots whatever you want let me know i'll send it to you you know and all of that and i, I you say you'll give me that drop you know the 11th degree word is bomb nah. <laughs> no, i'm playing with you <laughs> no, playing my with word you. is bomb my bond is life and i shall give my life life my, my words on fail yeah. i got it locked in all right beautiful all right god all right, so yes, to God. Uh, thank you for coming through, God. Everybody, Raz Fresco. Peace, peace. Peace. All right, y'all. That was a great one. Um, the young God came through and represented. Guess his gear is mad fresh. Um, definitely fucking with it. Um, if you like this God cast gear, <laughs> you know what to do, y'all. Brand new being gear. Head on over to hoodgee.com. We got the Rod Digger joints. We got Godfrey joints. We got, man, better get over there and get right. Um, so yeah, I appreciate y'all coming through. Um, you know how we do. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click that notification bell. If you didn't click like when you came in the room, click it now before we get out of here. Um, and yes, once again, I appreciate y'all. Um, if you'd like to become a patron, Head on over to patreon.com slash you know what I mean. And that's where the exclusive, exclusive, um, you know, interviews be happening. Um, that's when we do, you know, instead of chopping up the, the, the videos and all of that, you know, you can go over to Patreon right now and, and, and watch this interview. Because on YouTube, this guy, this game ready to come down right now. Till I chop it up uh, and put it out on YouTube later. Uh, but if you'd like to see this interview right now, it's in, enti in its entirety. Uh, become a a, patch, uh, a patron. Blah, 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 blah. Become a patron at patreon.com slash you know what I mean. And I appreciate y'all. Thank you once again for coming through. Uh, next time you see me. Digger Digger should be in the house along with Godfrey. I know you're like, where Digger, where Godfrey? They'll be back. Don't worry about it. Um, but until then, my name is Lord Jamar. If you do not mean Godcast, and as always, peace.